Hi everyone, it's editing Alyssa here and I wanted to come on before I start the video to talk about Black Lives Matter and the Black Lives Matter movement. So sit down, I'm probably going to talk about it a lot and I really want you to sit down and listen to what I'm saying before you enjoy this vlog that I made. I've been trying to gather my thoughts so that I'm able to talk about this and make sure that I hit all the target points that I want to, but that's not to say that this is a one and done situation. I want this to be an ongoing conversation. God knows how many videos I'm gonna post, but like, I just wanna keep this going because the conversation does not stop. I know we had a big like surge in awareness and um, allyship recently. There's a lot of people educating themselves and understanding or having their eyes opened to their privilege, posting on social media, helpful links. While that's great, I think we definitely need to keep moving forward with this movement. There's so much change that needs to be done. The system is the problem and we need to start making changes. And a lot of people have been saying to tear down the entire system completely and start new. And honestly, yeah, I'm here for it. I really am. There's so much wrong that this country has been built on and we've been going f with it for a really long time. And I think that now's the time to address these problems. And if we have to tear it down brick by brick to build it back up brick by brick, then that's what we should be doing. To everyone that's saying all lives matter, yeah. It, they do, but all lives matter cannot matter until black lives matter. The society that we're living in right now is built on the fact that black people are inferior and black people have a disadvantage living in this country because of the color of their skin and that's not okay. The fact that black people get killed at a highly disproportionate rate than other um, people, honestly, is ridiculous and the fact that black people get incarcerated and wrongly accused at a disproportionate rate compared to other people is ridiculous and we need to address that and make change. There's the movement to defund the police and there's the movement to abolish the police and yes, I think that this is needed. The police violence won't stop unless the police are stopped and we have to do that by defunding the police and allocating the billions of dollars that go into the police systems and put that in mental health resources and building better and affordable housing for black people. The police are supposed to be serving us and they're not, they're killing. We need to stop with that and we need to relocate the money that we're giving the government and putting it into something that will serve us because it's not okay. I've read a lot of articles and books and I really resonate with it starts with yourself your mind, your community, and then the entire world around you. So we all need to have some introspection within ourselves and look through our brain and see the different ideas that have been conditioned into our minds in this society and deconstruct the racist beliefs and take that out, unlearn it. While you're doing some introspection, educate yourself. There are so many books, articles, movies, podcasts, whatever. There's so many that you can utilize. Currently I'm reading So You Want to Talk About Race. That's also a good one to start having conversations with the people around you. A lot of movies are for free right now to rent, to watch, um, like Just Mercy, The Hate You Give, Selma. For podcasts, I really love Code Switch. There's also like a whole Black Lives Matter um, section on Spotify for you to utilize. And then we can start to have these conversations with the people around us, with our friends, with our families and the communities that we are in. So number one, do some thinking inside yourself. Number two, educate. Three, go out and vote if you can. The laws that we have are because of the people that have been elected and the people who elect these officials are us. We elect them. The November election is coming up. Educate yourself on the people that are on the ballot and despite the D or the R, you have to vote for people who are catering to your interest and what you want to see change in this world, state or nation rather, you know. A lot of primaries have happened already. A lot of primaries are still happening. There's mail-in ballots. Some people have polls. So definitely go out and vote. 
Lastly, it's not enough to not be a racist. You have to be anti-racist. It's important to catch your prejudices and your microaggressions and to be like, this is this is wrong, change my thought process and my thinking and understand where that came from and see how that popped into your mind and where you learned that from and then unlearn it. Sign petitions, it's really not that hard. It's free. You don't really have to do anything except click sign the petition. There's so many petitions going on and it's our right to petition to the government and check them and be like, hey, you're not doing what I want. I'm gonna check you on that and we need to change this. Donate if you can to organizations like EJI, MLACP, bailout organizations, um, and also just local funds for memorial services or funeral services, etc. And just don't stop learning, don't stop the conversation. Keep going, keep educating yourself, keep having uncomfortable conversations. Whatever happens, just don't stop. You, we need change in this society. The Black Lives Matter movement did not start like a few weeks ago. Black people have been fighting for their rights ever since the ab abolishment of slavery because it didn't stop at slavery. There was Jim Crow, there was segregation, and now we have mass incarceration, they're still perpetuating white supremacy and that's not okay. We need to do better. Demand for change in this country because that's the only way that we can move forward and have a just system. So, I rambled a lot but I would love to keep this conversation going in future vlogs and I'm gonna continue to keep reading and like have a bunch of recommendations for you guys and yeah. I know not a lot of people watch my videos, but if there's any platform I have, I want to use it and I want to make sure that my voice is out there. And I hope that you check out a bunch of the resources that I'm going to link down below. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. I realized I haven't started this vlog yet, so hi! What is up? My name is Alyssa Carmonell. It's Monday, June 15th. It honestly does not feel like a Monday at all because the days just go by for however now. It is currently 7.56 and I have work at 8 and I work today from 8 to 11 which is not bad at all. I work at Duncan. More to come for this vlog. I don't really know what today's gonna bring. I didn't really have a plan but I was like I kind of want to vlog so um, I kind of just wanted to start off this vlog so hello good morning and now I'm gonna go work for three hours and I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Okay so I just got out of work it is 11.05 and I'm going to go home and maybe do a little workout and um, I made my sister a coffee so I'm going to bring that to her but now I'm going to drive home so let's go. Good morning! Yay! Thank you! Yeet. Hello! Back home. So now I'm going to work out. Um, I ran a 5k yesterday so i don't really want to run today i'm just gonna do a leg workout and an abs workout so let's do this all right let's go my girl cassie's been posting a lot so we're gonna do some workouts from her
anyone who's ever been in like the fast food industry but do you ever like go home from work and then shower but you still think that you smell like the place that you worked at like i still feel like i smell like duncan and it's like kind of annoying but just a question for anyone out there who's been a fast food employee um let me know am i wearing the same set i wore this morning heck yeah i am do i care no can i make a green smoothie here we go lunch because I'm hungry so I have a little salad with some chicken which is very exciting and then Lola made some fried rice with egg and I love fried rice with egg so we're gonna eat that I'm just gonna <coughs> eat food and go on my laptop okay we're going to run errands these are the fits I'm not really gonna tell you where they're from because we don't support those businesses anymore all right let's go Okay, we're Shut having up! No! <laughs> we can't parallel apart for crap, so like we're trying to parallel apart right now and it's just not working. Wait, out. can you check if I'm still on the crap? Oh no, you're good. Oh god. So we're gonna pick up some crystals and then we're gonna get some we're gonna get one acai bowl because I don't wanna Yeah. I'm not yeah. EBA. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a person there. Bye! and rice with some lettuce. I decided I want to do a face mask tonight because I keep saying that we're gonna do it and then I keep putting it off. So tonight is gonna to be the night. We splurged and we got the Indian healing clay mask. Deep pore cleansing. This is what I need. If there's anything that I need for like my skin, it's like pore cleansing. Cause my pores are huge and they're probably just clogged with a bunch of gross things. Okay, so I got a bowl with a quarter cup of water since it's just gonna be me doing this mask. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of the Indian healing clay. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. 
She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under. It's not like super hot, but it's hot enough. And I feel like I'm definitely getting a tan. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, that's so fun. People are distancing. That's fun. I like that. Ah, it feels so nice to be at the beach. I missed it. Hi, beach. We're waiting for our food, our food um, to be done preparing. So we're gonna get some ice cream. I love homemade ice cream. Our fruit Loops. Chocolate Oreo. Delish. This looks oh freaking good. I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's I need to taste. Cereal. Gotta eat tacos. Got some juice. I got steak, mango shrimp, and carne asada. This is a steak. Very excited. The way you been giving me the time of day. You be making moves that you who really care what side to say. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cat. Popping in here because I didn't end the vlog, so. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and come back for more and check out the links in my description below. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.